Hi guys, today I will be showing you 5 best converter apps for your Mac as of August 2017. These are the simplest and the most useful apps that I have come across so far. So without further ado, let's get started. The first app on the list is called Squash here. This app is currently one of the most popular apps on Mac App Store. What this app does is it allows you to compress any big size image file for a smaller size while maintaining the image resolution and quality. This is especially useful if you are a web designer who needs smaller sized images but with high resolution to post on your website. Also, if you want to send images through emails or post images on Facebook, this is the best tool for you to convert or compress your big size image to a smaller one so that you can post or upload to the internet much faster. Let me show you an example here. So this is the app and I have one image here. Let's see the size of this image. So you can see at the top it say 4.1 megabytes. So to compress this to be smaller, you just drag that image, drop it here. Done. And you can see here, they say we squashed 2.7 megabyte out of that file. So you click save image and you select where you want to save. So it will save the same place here. Click save here. Now let's see this side by side. So this is the original image. And let's take a look at this one, this squashed image. So by looking at this, you cannot tell the difference because like this app said, it compressed the size of the image file to be smaller, but it still maintained the image quality and resolution. So the image would look the same with your bare eyes, but you get the smaller size image. This is really cool app. I would recommend you trying this app by yourself to see how it works. Okay, this is app number one. Let's move on to app number two. App number two is called Vellum or Vellum. It's up to you, whatever you call it here. This is a powerful ebook generating tool that lets you easily create an ebook from a text manuscript or from Word documents or create an ebook from scratch with this application. This app is very simple and easy to use. You don't have to know much of the IT stuff to create your own ebooks for your iBooks in your iPads or for your Kindles. You just have this app and it do the rest of the work for you. So imagine like here, I open this app and I want to convert this Word file into ebook. Let's open it. So it's simple to convert it into an ebook from your Word document. You just click import Word file here. And then you select where you keep your Word file, like here I have on my desktop. Select that and click import here. So you can see everything is very simple for you to edit, like the title of the book. What do you name it? For example, I say testing. I change the testing here. Subtitle optional, you don't have to put it. Author, publisher, if you have it, and the link as well. And also you can add the cover to your ebook. I add mine here. Let's say I have this. Edit. So you can design this based on the size of your book. So the recommended size for your cover should be 1880 by 2500 or 1667 by 2500 and so on. So these are the recommended size for the cover. But because mine is not that size, that's why it shrinks like that. But this is for just only testing. And you can, before you decide to create your ebook, to check if any place you don't like, you can change it. And the style, you can change the style as well. Like what style you want, this one or this one. So after you change the style of the book, you like what you see here, you just click generate here, this side, generate books. Click there and it asks you one question, save this document first. I don't want to save it, you can click save it first. If you create a book in here, you should save it first, but I already have the original file. I don't have to save it. Click here and you say generate for what? Click here and see, you can select what you want to save it for. They are for Kindle, for iBooks, it means for iPad or iPhone, for Kobo, for Google Play, or for generic EPUB, or for Nuke. For me, I would choose this both because I usually read eBooks on my iPad or my Kindle. So I tick this too, click continue. And for the folder where you want to save it, so I would save it on desktop. You don't want, you can change the place. And then you click generate. You wait for it to load, done. And you click show files here. So this is the iBooks version EPUB for your iPad or iPhone. And this is for Kindle. The ending is Mobi. Let's open this. 
okay here so this is just only for testing that's why it looks messy like that but when you design the book make sure you design it correctly already before you publish it otherwise it would look messy like this and for kindle if you have the kindle transfer app if we click here we call that a caliber if you have it and you plug in your your kindle and you can transfer into your kindle to read on the go i think this is really useful for example for those who have children like you don't want your children to read bad contents or, or to read the book that would not be appropriate for the children or not interesting enough for the children if you have time like you can write your own book specifically for your children and then you use this app to make the book to make ibook for the ipad or for the kindle and then you let the children read it would be really cool you don't have to have any other special tool just only this app and you're done okay this is app number two let's move on to app number three for app number three it is called media schumann audio converter this app is a freeware application for mac os and windows it can help you to convert your music absolutely free to any audio format like the WMA, MP3, AAC, WAV, and so on. And also, another interesting is you can convert multiple files simultaneously. So this is the look of the app. It looks very simple. Again, it's a free app. You can go to the website. I have included this website in the description below. You can check it out. It's free. So let's see how this app works. So in here, you can see you can choose what format you want to convert to. You have a variety of formats that you can convert to, like AAC or MP3 or M4R. M4R is for ringtone for your iPhone or iPad. Or MP3, you convert from video to MP3. Like m4 or if you convert to that and you can choose this as well so you choose the size you want here you can customize it and to convert you just drag and drop let's say i have my music here you see mp3 so i want to convert my mp3 just drag and drop i want to convert it to m4 or so that i can use it on my iphone as the ringtone you drag and drop and then you click here to convert like the app said you can convert multiple files at the same time let me try another one here so let's convert this see it converts both files at the same time now it's done let's open it here let's listen to it a little bit okay so this app is really simple to use and most importantly it's free if you're interested in it download it it's called media human audio converter okay let's move on to app number four for app number four it is called movavi audio converter here so if you're looking for a fast and easy to use app that converts music and videos to a range of different audio formats, this is the right app for you. Movavi Audio Converter is one of the best apps for you to choose. This app is similar to Media Schumann Audio Converter that I've just shown you at the moment, but it's much better with a whole lot of new features. And because unlike the Media Schumann Audio Converter, this is a paid app. So because it provides more features here, you can see here, you can convert from video to audio, or from one audio file to another type of audio file or you can convert the DVD to audio as well by clicking here and in fact you can convert any of more than 180 audio and video files formats so let me show you an example here so any video you have for example I have the flash here open it and you select the format you want to convert it to like I would choose mp3 here destination here the place where you want to save that file so again, I would like to save it on my desktop. Select desktop, click choose, and you click convert. You start converting now. Because this is a long video, it's around 45 minutes, and the size is big as well. That's why it takes time to convert. But if you convert from like MP3 to M4R for ringtone, it would convert much faster. So now it's done, so right here, it's quite a big file because it converts from the movie. You can select audio here as well. I have my music here. Let's say I select this one. So let's say I want to convert this to WMA. Click convert here. And start converting. Done. Here. Also you can use the DVD as well because right now I don't have any DVD so I cannot show you but you can do that as well so this is app number four let's move on to the last app the last app on the list is called smart converter pro 2 here 
So what this app does is it provides a faster, higher quality conversion than most existing converters. Again, it is very similar to the two previously mentioned converter apps. It is just a matter of preferences and extra functionalities. So you can choose the one that suits you the most. So you can see down here. So if you like this style, maybe you are interested in this app, you can just buy it. You can try with the free version first from the app store before you decide to buy it. So the price of this app is $15. You can try the free version first and then you can decide later. So not only this app can convert from video or audio to audio, but also it can convert from one video format to another video format. So you can see here we have Apple TV. It should be a video from video to video, QuickTime, Mac, iPad or iPhone, also video. This is music. So select the one that you want to convert to that you watch on iPad, click iPad here. And the most important thing is, as the title suggests, this app is a smart converter, which means it only converts stuff that needs converting and leaves the rest alone. This means it's very fast and maintains the highest possible quality of the video and audio. This is what I love the most about this app. It converts very fast, it's like at a lightning speed. Let me show you an example here, select Mac, let's say select one video. So let's say I have this video here, Game of Thrones. The size of this is 517 and the format of this file is MKV. So I want to convert to Mac. So to convert to Mac, it would usually change the format from MKV to MP4. And let's see the conversion, how fast it is. Usually with normal conversion app, it would take like 10 or 20 minutes to convert this movie. But let's see how much time is spent on this converter app. Click convert. Done. Very quick. Here. Like I said, this app is very smart. If you convert from video to video, just one format to another, it will keep everything the same. Keep the video quality and everything the same. What it convert is just only the ending here from MKV to MP4 and it work in a lightning speed. So you don't have to wait for a long time because usually like you have MKV file and you want to watch on your iPad or Apple TV or Mac, it won't support. So with this, you can convert quickly, less than a minute and you can use it. It's really cool. You can convert to mp3 as well the music so for more here you can select like ipad you can select whatever ipad here ipad pro ipad air sometimes the screen you select on this ipad it would choose the general ipad that may be the 9.5 screen but to be precise you have to choose the right one based on here click the one that you want you can convert also to samsung device like galaxy s3 and so on here okay that's it guys these are five best converter apps for your mac as of august 2017 thank you so much for watching if you like the video please click like comment down below and subscribe for more useful video in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video